Good morning, everybody. It's April 20... What is it? The 29th. It's a Monday. I'm Brett, your thankful carnivore, and this is your thankful carnivore report. Check me out on Instagram at thankful.carnivore and at Twitter at stickmanbleeding, S-T-I-C-K-M-A-N-B-L-E-E-D-I-N. So the title of this morning's Periscope is what I learned this weekend. And I learned a lot of things I wasn't expecting to learn. I'm going to start with the bad stuff first and work to the good. I learned over the weekend that if during the week my food windows, my eating is disrupted often enough, I'm talking about the times that I would normally eat, being forced to go hangry for an hour and a half to deal with customers doing the job as you're supposed to do it, has very negative accumulative effects upon my mental, mental well-being. Um, it's not surprising that early in the work week, I mentioned to a coworker that if that continued, I'd probably have to put in my resignation because I can't risk my health. This Saturday, no, excuse me, yesterday afternoon, um, my wife informed me after a couple of discussions that uh, I wasn't making sense again, that I was talking like old Brett. Which, wow, <laughs> talk about something that'll get your attention. And after some discussion, it became very clear to both of us because my wife reported that my behavior had been slowly becoming more and more obnoxious from Thursday. <laughs> that uh, the only thing that's different in my life is the job. The only thing that changed was the hours that I can eat and the amount of time that I have to go without eating some days unexpectedly. And we decided that no job is worth the risk. Just not worth the risk. And I know, we know, those of us who follow these things know from Michaela Peterson's own mouth. She got very, very happy, as happy as she ever imagined being. And then she started adding foods back. And she's not quite as happy as she was then. She's good. She's happier than she had been for a while. And she describes it as being happy like a wolf. <laughs> But I don't want I I want the I want to be as happy as I was. Now, bear with me here. Let me break this down a little bit. Happiness is not guaranteed. Life throws things at us. We're not guaranteed to always be happy. But we don't have to be bummed out, depressed, anxious, unable to communicate with our loved ones. There's no good reason, no acceptable reason for us to not be able to do that. And it's not an earth-shaking revelation that if a husband and wife are unable to communicate properly, that that's going to have a serious impact on both of their ability to be happy, their wellness, their general overall satisfaction with life. I'm not taking any chances with it. Now, today, I feel much better than yesterday. I've identified a couple of things that are red flags, and my wife and I have worked out some different ways. Should, heaven forbid, should such an event occur again, she's going to respond very differently and in a way that's going to get my attention and slow my roll before I say something completely ridiculous or stupid. But I, my expectations are, after just a few days of eating normally, properly, when I'm hungry, 
everything's going to be back to normal. Everything, right now, things aren't that far off of normal. I am medicated with cannabis properly, and that is a great assistance. And I know there's been some negative information come out recently about cannabis. My thinking on that is, without fail, since I began using cannabis in 2015, my life has continued to improve. There have been peaks and some valleys along the way. But I see no reason to stop. And thank God I have cannabis. I shudder to think of how horrible my behavior might have become yesterday without it. I would be concerned about how I would be behaving today. I probably wouldn't be able to do a video today without cannabis. My, my, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be a pleasant watch, let's put it that way. Some other things I learned over the weekend. I learned that if I start thinking everybody else is stupid and acting crazy, the odds are high, the problem lies with me. That was the enlightening. I kind of probably already knew that all along. It just wasn't as poignantly shoved down my throat as it was this weekend before. On the good side, I have changed my Instagram to a business account. Later today, I'm going to be posting links on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook to our website, my wife and I's website. It's called Thankful Carnivore. And folks are going to be able to read about my story. They're going to be able to read about my wife's story. And starting today, people will be able to place orders for your very own Meaty Tees Pro Carnivory T-shirt. We priced them so that folks can, can afford them, we hope, and so that we don't go broke. <laughs> I had a lot of people ask where they can get them. We're doing what we can to make sure that people can. So later today, excuse me, that link will be going live. And all I can say is, is wear them with pride, folks, because I sure am. I am a proud carnivore. I'm thankful. I'm happy about what I've learned this weekend, even though some of it was less than pleasant. You know, one advantage I've always described is car carnivory gives us, or at least it gives me, even when things get hard, it's so much easier to figure out when you're not inflamed. I'm not inflamed. I did experience some anxiety. My thinking did get scrambled for a while, but thanks be to God, it was just a couple hours and not another 40 years. So my focus now is to share with you and your friends and your family and all your neighbors about what carnivory has done for me and what I believe carnivory could do for you if you just take up eating meat and drinking water for 30 days. Nothing more, nothing less. That's my commitment. That's my focus now. And I probably will pick up a guitar again every once in a while. I picked one up yesterday, and we had an interesting discussion, me and my guitar. Matter of fact, It was this here guitar that I had the discussion with. And uh, we've got some more things to hash out maybe later today. But we're on speaking terms again. And that's a good improvement too. Listen, you have a great day. Keep an eye out for the links I'll be posting later on Twitter and my Instagram. Eat you some meat, drink some water, and don't be afraid to learn hard things about yourself. You have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.